Yo, 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 yo. All right, guys. Last video, module two, more operations with scientific notation, but this time we're going to focus on multiplying and dividing. All right, let's get it. So, multiplying and dividing, you guys, it is pretty simple, actually. When we multiply, you're allowed to multiply in any order you want. So, which is kind of nice for the purposes of what we're doing right now. So that means for multiplication, I can just multiply the decimals and then I can do 10 to the 9 times 10 to the 12. So really what I'm doing is 1.8 times 6.7 and then I'm also doing 10 to the 9th times 10 to the 12th. Now reminder, when we multiply number exponents with the same base, we're really just taking those exponents and we're adding them together. So that's going to give me 10 to the 21st power because 9 plus 12 is 21. Then what I have to do is I have to actually multiply my decimal. So I got to do 1.8 times 6.7. So for the sake of time here, since I'm going to do 1.8 times 6.7, I don't want you guys to have to watch me multiply. So I'm just going to use a quick calculator here. And I'm going to do 1.8 times 6.7. And that's going to give me 12.06. So for my answer here, I multiplied these two, and then I added my exponents because I multiplied 10 to the 9 times 10 to the 12. So then I get put them together, and I get 12.06 times 10 to the 21st power. Now I always have to, with multiplication, this is going to happen a lot, where I always have to double check and make sure that this is in scientific notation. Well. 12 is not in scientific notation, it's bigger than 10. So I'm going to move my decimal over 1, which means I have to add 1. So I'm going to have 1.206 times 10 to the power of 22. And I'm done. And that is all. So what I want you guys to do is try this second one on your own right away. Just try this one and see how you do. So pause the video, try multiplying, and see what happens. Okay, so you should have multiplied 5 times 3.8. Okay, so I should have done 5 times 3.38. I'm sorry, 3.38. And then for my exponents, I would have done 12 plus 6, which is 10 to the 18th power. Because 12 plus 6 is 10 to the 18th. And then I actually have to do that multiplication. Now again, I'll just use a calculator real quick. 3.38 times 5. 16.9. Notice how the exponents don't have to be the same. It makes multiplication almost even easier because I just got to add my exponents and that, that part's done. So 16.9, I'm not in scientific notation, so I have to move my decimal over once and add one. So that's going to give me 1.69 times 10 to the 19th power, and I'm all done. Okay. So you might have some word problems. So something like this, an adult blue whale can eat 4.0 times 10 to the 7th krill in a day. That's a lot of krill. At that rate, how many krill can an adult blue whale eat in this many days? 3.65 times 10 to the second power. That'd be 365 days if I were to take this out of scientific notation. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this many times this many days. So really it's 4.0 times 10 to the seventh and all of that is going to be multiplied by 3.65 times 10 squared. So that means I have to multiply 3.65 by 4. I don't need to write the point 0. There's just no point in doing that. 10 to the 7th and 10 squared becomes 10 to the 9th. So then I actually have to do my multiplication of 3.65 times 4, which is 14.6. Oh, not in scientific notation, move it over once and add one. So 1.46 times 10 to the 10th. And I'm done. Now, for division, division is the same as multiplication. So I'm still going to just divide. And I'm gonna, instead of multiplying, I'm just going to divide. So really what I need to do is I'm just going to do this division problem right here. 3.46 divided by 2. 
And then I'm going to subtract my exponents instead of add them. 17 minus 9 is 8. Because whenever we divide numbers with exponents, when they have the same base, we just subtract the exponents. So that's going to give me 10 to the 8th power. And then I just have to do my division here to get my final answer. And it's going to be 1.73. So my final answer is 1.73. That's a weird one there. It's still kind of weird. Times 10 to the 8th power. And I'm done. So for division, same idea. Just divide the decimals and then subtract the exponents. Okay. Pause. Try the second one here on your own. See how you do. Okay, so I'm going to do 8.4 divided by 4.2. So it'll look something like that. Move my decimal over once, move my decimal over once. 42 goes into 84 twice. Subtract my exponent. So I get 2 times 10 to the 7th power. And that's it. I'm all done. You might have a word problem where you have to divide, which is fine. So a newborn baby has about this many cells. So this number is not written in scientific notation, but we can write it in scientific notation by moving my decimal over 3, 6, 9, 10 times. So that's 2.6 times 10 to the 10th. So that's how many, new, how many cells a newborn baby has. An adult has about 4.94 times 10 to the 13th. So it's definitely more because this is the 13th power. How many times as many cells does an adult have than a newborn? Write your answer in scientific notation. So what I want to do is I'm really doing 10, I'm doing 4.94 times 10 to the 13. I'm trying to figure out how many times this, how many more times is this more than the first number? And so I'm dividing this by 2.6 times 10 to the 10. That's my division problem. I'm going to divide these values. So that's 4.94 divided by 2.6. I get 1.9. Subtract my exponents. So that's to the third power. I'm done. So that's it, you guys. So for multiply, Add the exponents. Division, subtract exponents. Okay, I hope this video helped. I was writing that, there we go. I hope this helps. Make sure you get your independent practice done. And if you guys need any help or have any questions, let me know. Greedy us out.